Welcome to STL TV Live, I'm Sarah Thompson. My first guests today are talented string musicians living, performing, and teaching right here in St. Louis. I want to welcome Hannah Fry and Eliana Haig to the set. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. So that intro was your music, was you performing, and so this is really interesting. You guys have created a string quartet. Tell me about how this all came together and for how long you've been together. Well, we've been together around a year, um, actually, a about exactly a year. Um, we met as part of Chamber Project St. Louis. We were in a string sextet together, um, me and, and Hannah and Stephanie, who's our cellist. Um, and then we decided we wanted to continue collaborating with each other. And we had all played with Manuela, who's our other violinist as well. And we decided to just start um, reading some things and start planning some performances. Okay, and so you guys have been together then for now a year, and mm -hmm. I, I know this is going to sound like a silly question when I say talk about your repertoire and what you play, but do tell us a bit more about the music other than saying, I think most people, it's classical music, <laughs> but Hannah, tell me a bit more about what you perform and what pieces you play. Well, so far we've given a couple of concerts. We've played um, different string quartets by Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, um, Grieg. Um, the Beethoven is actually what was playing at the beginning when we just started. And um, our upcoming concert, we're playing a couple more quartets, one by Brahms and another by Haydn. So we're kind of getting all of the major classical composers and just playing some really great works. Okay, well speaking of upcoming concerts, talk about we've got something coming up this Thursday actually mm -hmm. is the first one. So tell me a bit more about that, Eliana. Well, we're going to be performing at the Tavern of Fine Arts, which is basically a wine bar and restaurant that has live music every night. Um, a lot of live classical music, and they also sell art on the walls. They have different art, local artists. Um, so they're very supportive of the arts, and we're going to be performing there. Um, we're doing Brahms and Haydn. Okay, and so that's this Thursday, and then you mm -hmm. also have one coming up this fall. Is that right, Hannah? Yes, we have another one. We, have, we are playing, actually, we're adding a one named Diana, who's going to be playing piano with us for that. We're going to be doing a Schumann piano quintet. So it's the whole quartet plus piano, and then some other things just for us, which we're t we haven't actually totally decided yet, but <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of ideas. So, you know, you both, you, you teach, mm -hmm. you play obviously professionally. I mean, talk, uh, first tell me a bit about your backgrounds individually, and then when you come together, also tell me, as a string quartet, what ultimately becomes the goal? Just to perform because you have the need as a musician to perform, or is it ultimately because you want to record music and have people buy it and listen to it? So talk about, individually answer those questions, but in doing so, also tell me a bit about your background as well and how long you've been playing. Um, I've been playing for about 20 years. 20 I started years. when I was eight. That's actually considered a late start wow. for a string instrument. It really? is. It is. Yeah. It kind of is. Um, and I actually moved to St. Louis about two years ago with my husband. Um, so I was new in town, and Stephanie was new in town when we, when we all met. Mm -hmm. So we were sort of looking for more performing opportunities. Um, and we're all classically trained. We all went to you know, graduate school for music. I mean, I guess what our, one of our sort of shared interests with the group, in addition to you know, getting a nice group sound mm -hmm. and getting everything together and having a sort of a musical vision that we're all portraying, is we want our concerts to be more accessible, maybe. Hmm. So we're playing, we've played at a bar, we played at a church um, in a program that we actually created ourselves, and we had ice cream after, and there was an opportunity for us to talk with the audience. Um, which you don't always get a chance at mm -hmm. other classical concerts. And I think it's good for us, too. To make it more accessible. No, yeah. that's really interesting. And wow, 20, 20 years. And is that, how about <laughs> well, you? I'm actually, well, I'm a little older than <laughs> Liana. I started playing violin when I was five. five. So I've actually been playing for over, I shouldn't even say. <laughs> <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Longer than 20 years. Um, but yeah, the same thing, really. And I moved here a few years before, before she did. Um, and just part of the group is just, we, there's so much wonderful music written for String Quartet. We want to perform it, and we want our audiences to kind of get to know it and to love it as much as we do. And so a part of it is, like she was saying, breaking down that boundary. And part of it, a little bit of education and letting people know. But Well, really I mean, St. Louis is home to the St. Louis Symphony, mm -hmm. the second oldest symphony orchestra in the country. And there's a huge base for classical music, I feel, here. How do you feel, it, does it work on the level where in your string quartet and you're playing locally? I mean, do you feel like there's a strong following, or is it a growing base of people? Is it a strong amount of people well, who I mean, support string quartets, or in your case, specifically you? I, I would say so. I mean, even um, we played at a church, and there was a lot of interest from people who'd really not been to classical concerts mm -hmm. very much, and that was really encouraging. Yeah. Um, and I think there's just there's a lot going on in St. Louis, but there's a lot of support for it. Mm -hmm. So, so I, where, and where can people go to find out more information? Um, 
for upcoming concerts website? Yes, we yeah. have a website. <laughs> um, it's perseedstringquartet.com. Perseed um, 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 and we're also on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. So like you on Facebook. Yes. Like right, us. Well, there's, <laughs> there's information. Like us, yes. <laughs> so there it is. The concert's this Thursday. Perseid String Quartet, August 7th at 7.30 p.m. at Tavern of Fine Arts. And again, just head to their website and check it out to find out about upcoming performances. And a link to your Facebook page, I'm sure, so we could like us. But no, this is great. It's always interesting talking to musicians because everyone comes from such different walks of life and how long they've been performing and playing. And so it's just great to hear your story. And thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Well, stay with us on STL TV Live. We'll talk to Val Joyner from the St. Louis Crisis Nursery right after this break.